From the actor thanking his mother Marilyn on Father's Day, to his longtime girlfriend dishing about baby number two, here's the heartbreaking reason why Shamar Moore won't celebrate Father's Day. At 53 years old, Shamar Moore just celebrated his first Father's Day with his four-month-old baby girl, Frankie Melanie Moore. The SWAT actor announced that he and his longtime girlfriend, Jezere Deason, were expecting their first child together in January of 2023, on the third anniversary of his mother's death. Besides being known as the seasoned tough guy on screen, Moore is also known for his many tear-jerking posts on social media, honoring his friends, family, and talking about spirituality. On Father's Day 2023, he rounded all three of them together for a heartbreaking post on why he's never been able to celebrate Father's Day before. The actor's been very open about his troubled relationship with his father. You know what? Moore has actually talked about his own father once before. Yup, it was almost a decade ago, back in 2013, when the Criminal Minds actor posted his first and only tribute to his father, Sherrod Moore. Despite not having the best relationship with his father, the actor thanked Sherrod for shaping him into the man that he became. You couldn't tell from the actor's social media posts that he wasn't close to his father, but fans could pretty much guess that he was closer to his mother. I mean, almost every other picture on Shemar's Instagram was of Marilyn Joan Wilson Moore, from the two of them relaxing by the beach and sipping Mai Tais together, to remembering his late mother every other day since she passed away in February 2020. The SWAT actor eventually opened up to Larry King in 2016 on why he's never been particularly close to his father. He said that soon after he was born, his father, a business consultant and a member of the Black Panthers in the 60s, was sent to San Quentin prison for four years for causing civil unrest. As I said, you couldn't tell from his social media that he wasn't close to his father. And that's probably because Moore never really talked about him. Well, safe for that one time in 2013, and again in 2019 when he passed away. Anyway, for the first few years of his life, Marilyn was the only parent Shamar knew. He then said that later on, after Sherrod was released, he tried building a relationship with Marilyn and his son again, but that he'd become extremely erratic. The actor told Larry King that Marilyn had to make the brave decision to pack up and leave, for both her and Shamar's safety. For the next few years, he stayed as far away as he could from his father. So, whenever Father's Day rolled around, Shamar made sure to thank his mother instead for being the best single parent. Did you know that Marilyn, a mathematics professor, decided to pack up and leave with Shamar and his siblings after realizing that the United States was growing increasingly racist? Yep, this was back in the late 70s and according to Moore, his Canadian French mother wanted her children to have the same opportunities as everyone else, which just didn't seem like a possibility in the States back in the day. So, every year on Father's Day, the actor makes sure to thank his mother for flying the family across the globe and sacrificing so much just for her kids to have a shot at a better life. He kept that tradition alive even in 2023, three years after Marilyn had passed away. Moore's been a father figure to Dyson's two kids from a previous relationship, but this was the first time he actually got to experience becoming a father himself. Grab yourself some tissues, because the actor's touching tribute to his late mother will make you ball. Shamar stated, First Father's Day ever for me. He then went on to say that he felt blessed, grateful, before talking a little about his relationship with his own father, and how hard it was for him to grow up without a father figure. Nonetheless, Moore thanked Sherrod, who'd passed away in 2019 for loving his mother, once upon a time, before talking about Marilyn. This is where things start getting heartbreaking. The actor said that the only thing Mama Marilyn had ever wanted was to become a grandmother herself. Unfortunately, that didn't happen in her lifetime. The young and restless actor talked about how he believed Frankie was a miracle his mother had sent him and knew that she was smiling down at his family from heaven. Moore made sure to thank his girlfriend too, saying, I love you, Jezzeree, and thank you. The Instagram post got well over half a million likes, with thousands of comments from people congratulating the actor and also talking about their single mothers and how thankful they were to have them. Now, while Moore might not have had the best relationship with his father growing up, the actor eventually let him into his life, but on his own terms. After being an absentee father for most of his life, Shimar told Larry King that when Sherrod came knocking on his door, he couldn't help but feel some sympathy for the guy. According to the Criminal Mind star, 
He felt like his father had suffered through enough, what with his drinking and irrational behavior, and believed that this was Sherrod actually trying to make amends for once. So Shamar did the only thing a kind-hearted guy like himself would, and he helped his father get settled into a place of his own. Now that's pretty big of the guy, right? But just because he could sympathize with Sherrod didn't necessarily mean that he forgave him. Forgiveness doesn't come easy, especially when you've seen a guy being extremely toxic to the mother you idolize. So, Shemar told his father that while he was willing to help him out and have him in his life again, this time, it'd be on his terms. The actor didn't really specify what those terms were, but his relationship with Sherrod did heal. When the former business consultant died in 2019, Shemar posted a tribute to his late father, saying that he was free at last and that while he wished he'd gotten more time to get to know the real him, he was still thankful for whatever time they'd shared. That's pretty big of him, all things considered. All right. So, would you believe me if I told you that Shamar didn't post a tribute for his mother after she passed away? I know, I know, it sounds impossible, right? But it's true. While the actor posted every minor detail about his relationship with his mother, them hanging out at his house, goofing around, and posting heartwarming tributes for just about every major occasion, Shamar actually didn't post a tribute to his mother after she passed away. The actor revealed that Marilyn had passed away two weeks after the fact. He posted a video on Instagram revealing that he'd been hurting really bad over the past few weeks and that the only thing giving him strength was, ironically, his mother. You could honestly tell that the actor was trying his best to not break down. The SWAT actor then went on to say that his 76-year-old mother had been suffering from multiple health complications, including multiple sclerosis, which she'd been battling for almost a decade. Speaking of which, the actor actually started a clothing line, Baby Girl Inc., which doubles as a charitable foundation and donates all of its proceeds to hospitals and welfare units treating MS. Before signing off, Moore hugged a picture of his mother and told all 3.2 million of his fans that everything he's become was because of Marilyn. Not a dry eye in the house. Shamar's since made it a point to include a tribute to his mother in every post he ever makes about Frankie and becoming a parent himself. The actors made it clear that he'd always be there for Frankie, and Jezere here to prove that he's been sticking to that promise. The 39-year-old actress responded to Shamar's Father's Day post with one of her own. She posted a picture of the father-daughter duo and captioned it with, Daddy looks good on you. Jezere's keeping fans updated with adorable pictures of the two, and showing just how great of a father Shamar's shaping up to be. In fact, the very first picture we ever got to see of Frankie was one of her as a newborn dressed up in an all-pink outfit, which, according to Jezere, was picked out by Shemar himself. I mean, it makes sense. Shemar had previously told reporters that he was hoping for a girl, but said that he'd be fine with whatever as long as the baby was healthy and happy. Jezere then spilled the tea, saying that the actor couldn't contain his excitement once it was confirmed that they'd be welcoming a girl soon. The actress also said that she was open to the idea of having more kids with Moore. She told Page Six that if it was a boy, they were one and done, but that if it was a girl, there'd be room for one more. Let's see if Shamar has more to be thankful for the next time Father's Day comes rolling around. So from the actor's longtime girlfriend dishing about baby number two, to Shamar Moore thanking his mother, Marilyn, on Father's Day, this was everything on the heartbreaking reason Shamar Moore never celebrated Father's Day.